Joining me now for details is Southern African correspondent Diane Hawker. Good to see you, Diane, and thanks for your time as always. Now, these protests began just last week, but they seem to have escalated significantly. Uh, help us uh, with a little bit of background on this unfolding situation. Yes, absolutely. Um, in fact, I was just checking the dates and the protests in Tembisa seem to go as far back as the 20th of July. So that's almost two weeks now that there have been some sporadic protests. The um, residents in the area have mainly been complaining over uh, power outages and high electricity pricing. Their main issue has been similar to that that we've seen in Soweto, where people have complained that um, they have been switched off, their power has been switched off for longer periods of time, longer than the usual two or four hours of load shedding. Um, ESCOM um, in some instances has re explained this as load reduction, saying that in some areas it's affecting load reduction um, because it is, is trying to kind of re reduce um, the supply to areas that it believes has some illegal connections. But of course, not everyone in any of those areas is illegally connect connected. And that is why some residents have been very unhappy, saying that the mayor, um, who we saw in that clip early, uh, just a few seconds ago, should actually step in. Now, uh, this mayor came into office very recently. Um, she came in uh, as part of a new government that um, was formulated in November last year following the local government elections. So she hasn't really been in the office for that long, in fact, less than one year in the office. However, the residents do feel that um, her office in the municipality should be doing more to resolve their concerns. Well, as uh, the community uh, fights that, we also understand that the neighborhood of Tembisa was shot today and uh, we heard that uh, some looting occurred. Uh, any details mm -hmm. of this? Well, I think that it's, you know, the a usual occurrence when there might be a Well, seem to be a glitch uh, there in that connection uh, to uh, Diane Hawker, our correspondent in South Africa, giving us an update on uh, what's been going on uh, concerning the service delivery unrest.